outfit brighter than the future of the whole human race. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Yes, I've been gone for a while. I've had internet problems, had all different kinds of issues uh, with trying to get mom's place cleaned up and emptied out and trying to get that thing listed. So here we are, finally with some time to sit down and talk. And today we are talking about Night Theater by Vikram Palikar. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I did listen to it in audiobook, and that's how the audiobook narrator pronounced it, or my closest pronunciation um, that I was able to do. So if I got the name wrong, I do apologize. So Night Theater is about a doctor, kind of like a rural doctor. If it was in the States, it's not in the States. It's uh, actually set in India, um, an Indian doctor who has a small private practice. The book opens up, he's giving vaccines to people. No, that's not why <laughs> I read the book. Um, but he, he starts off with that, and they have issues with that. They finally get through that, and then some visitors come at night and ask him for help. Uh, these visitors are, I wouldn't necessarily call them zombies, but they are animated corpses. So... He has to deal with that. There's a, there's a heavy theme, at least I feel, there's a heavy theme of classism and religion, I believe. The thing that I like the most about this book um, is I know absolutely nothing about India um, or the Indian culture or their religions or any, any of that, that stuff. I know, I know nothing about any of it. The insight that... Palukar, I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, the author, I'll just call him the author. Um, the the sense in the book is that he's even maybe even the author is warring with religion and what should be believed and what shouldn't be believed. He never takes a stance, um, but the the power of the book was just me getting to know that culture. So if you have absolutely no idea about Indian culture, I'm not saying it covers everything, uh, but this is definitely something to check out. It is, I believe it's my first Indian author that I have finished. I might be wrong. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed every single last page or minute, I should say, of the audiobook. The performance is great. Um, I've listened to it on Scribe. I'm still going through the, uh, the free trial that my friend Don sent me last year. In fact, that's probably coming up. I probably need to renew or whatever I need to do for that. But So I enjoyed this book, um, but mainly the reason why I enjoyed it. I don't, I don't think that there was anything spectacular in it, but I did enjoy it enough to give it five stars because I enjoyed the entire thing. But the thing that I enjoyed the most, like I said, is just learning about another culture. Um, so if you are in it to learn, if you are in it for education or seeing another side of uh, maybe a culture you already know, whatever it may be, I highly suggest at least trying it out. The book is very, very short. I think the, uh, the audio book was only like four, but between four and seven hours. I went through it very, very quickly. And one of the reasons why I picked it was because it was so short. I wanted something with, you know, something with some literary merit. Uh, that also would go by quickly. And that's one of the things that popped up on Scribe, so I checked it out. Uh, I will say that there were, there were several times, I think he calls him Sa Saib. I don't know if that was a name or if that's more like a sir kind of thing. So, Pratam, uh, my friend Pratam, down there in the doobly-doo, let me know what Saib means, if it's doctor or if it's sir, or if that was the, maybe the character's name, because I, I honestly don't know. There was a couple other words that I didn't understand, but there were there were several times when the author explained things. There were more times where, when things were explained than not. So um, if you're worried about anything being lost in translation that way, I didn't feel like anything was lost in translation. Um, and the the book the book moves relatively quickly. Um, I did start out with the uh, the ebook version. I, I checked that out, I read the first chapter, but then I went on to the audiobook because if any of you are like me, I'm having problems sitting down and reading during all this mess that we're going through right now. And this book was a welcome, welcome escape, um, especially the way the book ended. Uh, I needed that. I needed that smile 
there at the end. If that's a if, if that's a spoiler for anybody, I apologize. But have you read Night Theater by Vikram Palakar? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. If you enjoyed it, let me know why you enjoyed it. If you hated it, let me know why you hated it. Let's start a discussion down there. It doesn't help anybody if you just go, This book was awesome! Or, this book was sucky! But whatever. It, it doesn't help that. We, we can't talk like that. So, down there in the doobly-doo, I want you to tell me whether or not you liked it or whether or not you hated it and what you liked and what you hated. If you haven't read it, I highly suggest, if nothing else, getting scribed, uh, trying their free trial, and uh, not a sponsor, trying their free trial and trying this book out. Um, it is good enough that I would say go out and buy it also. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!